Welcome to my channel, Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang, and I am Wolfgang. And my gift to you today will be a guided meditation, where we will be clearing all kinds of resistances that negatively affect you in your life. Um, there is no overshadowing theme there to this clearing. New coming up is just a kind of trail mix of toxic nuggets that I discovered in my work and, and um, so you know this is going to be very interesting and you know these are places that have been not cleared by many people at all mm -hmm. so you know in this in principle in this following guided meditation you will find out you know, um, how whether you are affected by certain issues that's, of course, you know, just knowing this, yes or no, whether this has happened to you, and it still has an effect on you from past lifetime, that's a good thing. You know? And then we um, try, you know, to have this cleared, you know, at least we give permission to have this cleared. And, of course, you know, I mean, there's probably not going to be a total clearing, you know? um, because we have to witness certain things, you know, there are lessons involved. Um, and an insight before it can be cleared mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of things you know don't have to be looked at and you know those can be cleared so there's going to be some effect mm -hmm. also for most you know if everything would be cleared uh, the transition would be so harsh <laughs> you know you probably um, you're not leaving the house for a week you know laying on the ground sucking your thumb you know shaking like a blob of jello you know, this would be just too intense. And, um, well, you know, also, of course, uh, common sense is important. Um, I mean, some of my stuff is definitely far out, but I go where the evidence leads me, <laughs> not the tradition necessarily. So, but then uh, please, you know, only accept what resonates with you. You have your own truth meter. You know, that is important. We will be actually tuning into this truth meter of you, you know. So you um, don't give the power away to me, you know. Uh, I'm this and that because Wolfgang said so, or because Bobby Joe said so, you know, the psychic, you know. I mean, it might help you initially, but, you know, um, then you never learn, you know, how to do it for yourself. And I think every adult, every decent adult, lady and gentleman, you know, should have these gifts. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> on the other hand, if you listen to a podcast, no, please don't drive or do heavy machinery, you know, change to music. This is designed to space you out and... Uh, you know, probably not a good idea. Probably worse than being drunk. <laughs> so, um, you know, and now, of course, you have this choice of sitting down on an office chair. Um, some of you may go yoga chair, you know, I mean, uh, like a kind of asana lotus or shuka asana, you know, so a half lotus. Um, you know, um, or laying down. I would say office chair is probably the best and easiest if you want to stay awake and aware and if you want to channel a lot of energy through your crown chakra and into the earth. You know, from a Qigong point of view, you know, <laughs> um, having your spinal axis aligned with the ground is probably optimal. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure how long this meditation is going to be, but if you sit in a lotus position um, or a half lotus and don't have back support, you know, after even 45 minutes, it's probably going to get to you too. You know, and no samadhi when the back hurts. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, when you lay down, you know, you definitely can relax a lot deeper. You know, you can go much, much deeper. Your energy state's not going to be as high, probably unless you really breathe. Mm -hmm. The visualization with the heaven connection is kind of a little screwed up. Um, but, um, you know, many of you can just go to sleep with this. You know, I go to sleep, you know, to some recordings. You know, that's the easiest way for me to uh, pass out. 
you know it's very nice and um so you can even put it onto loop you know just uh, right click you know the screen and you know the sub menu comes up um and have it play all night you know at a lower level so it's rather subliminal and soon as you you know all night um yeah so you know you can use it to fall asleep and you know it's going to be um, probably quite effective maybe not as effective as you know doing it in more like a vacant day you know awareness being really aware of the answers and questions but i mean even if you get 20 30 percent you know, that's not bad <laughs> right so um you know so take on the position and I suggest that you close your eyes and that you smile. And, you know, without smiling, you know, you're not receptive to love. And, you know, the smile um, puts you into your higher mind, tunes you into your higher mind. Yeah. Also, um, you know, you may want to put the tongue at your palate, not behind the teeth, or the teeth but, um, you know, at the very top. In that way, automatically, both brain halves will be balanced. No need to do nolly. And, uh, yeah, and the smiling, yes. And now we asked, first of all, absolute source. You know, nobody, nothing, you know, beyond, higher, or more original. Absolute source. To please fill us, ourselves, and all the different aspects of us with its pure love and light that completely transmutes all the ignorance and pain and dark programs in us. Mm -hmm. Transmutes it into love, wisdom, strength, and beauty, and aligns us with the divine will. You know, that is embedded within us. You know, our highest good, or the highest good of all. Please do so now. Um, smile, you know, nod your head. Make sure you know you agree in your mind. Don't just space out. It's your life. It's your intent. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's kicking in after about five seconds. Well, and we also asked, you know, that. Um, everything that happens in this meditation or from this meditation is going to be for your highest good in divine harmony and the most benevolent outcomes you know, for all. All the forces of light at least, right? Um, and also, you know, as we ask for complete protection, you know, privacy and protection, so no beings that are service to self can manipulate your mind or man um, observe you, study you, or, or attack you, or take revenge on you in any way. You know, complete protection, we asked Archangel Michael and other protecting divine beings you know, to guide and protect us to that. Um, um, And we also ask that we have a maximum impact that brings us into the highest timelines. Um, and um, smile now and imagine inhaling the love from the Earth Goddess, the Chi, through your feet and your root chakra into your whole body. Pull it all the way up into your head and smile, and then send your love, you know, all the way to Mother Earth. And exhale all the way, so no more air is left in you. And then fill yourself with her love. And we ask our spirit guides to clear any blocks and resistances between you and Earth Mother, with its offenses, Spells, curses, dark karma, dark technologies, trauma, 
we like to have as much cleared as can be without us having to look at it. Um, just make sure you agree, it's your body, it's your life. Then keep on breathing. Mm -hmm. The effect should be kicking in now. Mm -hmm. Go back and forth with this now. And now we ask Mother Earth and your spirit guides and your own highest self aspect. You know, the aspect that's closest to source that can help you. To please, you know, bring in, you know, your optimal routing system for you. You know, that grounds you perfectly into the earth, into the ley lines, into the perfect portals. Hmm? Please do so now. Uh, mm -hmm. And then activate the codes and update us. And we also ask now our friends, the unicorns. Yes, they are real. <laughs> they are astral beings. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, to fill our space, especially surround our hearts with their rainbow love and swirls. Um, um, um. And smile and feel the energy coming in now. And we ask that, you know, these rainbow color swirls liberate us from anything that's false. You know, that our soul decides is ready to let go of these illusions. Mm. And now we ask Source to bring into us through our heart, through that portal of our heart, the golden frequencies you know, of healing, you know, the golden love of healing from source directly. Pull it into the max and then on the axle send it from your heart into your right leg. Just blow it up it's like a rubber band. And fill your heart again. And then send this beautiful golden love into your left leg. Feel yourself again. And then you exhale, you send it into your right arm. Uh, smile like an idiot and feel yourself again. And send that golden healing love into your left. Fill your heart again. And send that love from your heart up the spine, out the head. About anything from three to six feet above the head. Make sure you smile, that your face is relaxed and that your tongue is at the palate. If you're really hard, go and put it where the you will ask. We ask the spirit guides to purify and clear our celestial chakras from any dark programs, trauma, like head bashing. Spells, curses, implants, crowns of thorns, reverse crowns, crucifixion implants, nooses, you know, all kinds of devices, skull caps, again, plagues, and all kinds of glass and spikes and, you know, insects and whatever, you know, kinky stuff is in there. 
has been imagined and should be leaving the earth has to be removed and especially any dark tech for negative alien beings um, uh, um, make sure you agree smile like an idiot and start pushing that source love into your head and soup up that brain And you all have seen those soap bubbles, you know, those beautiful iridescent soap bubbles. Mm -hmm. Now with this love, it's streaming into your heart from the, let's say, source dimension. Of course, the source is everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you expand this now into this big iridescent golden soap puzzle, bubble, you know, around you. And it's generous, you know, you can't touch it anywhere. You know, it's, you have a nice, plenty space. Mm -hmm. And you can just reinforce it, you know, um, with this source love, like spray paint from your hand. Let's go ahead, do that, play around with it. And we ask that uh, only beings of positive vibration you know, can come to us. This is our inner sanctuary. So we have the rainbows already in there. And now we ask for the presence of divine fire. Mm -hmm. There's this beautiful fire coming in front of us. It's a mixture of pink and violet flame. And you smile and you send, you know, the love, the golden love into that flame. With your breath. And notice the energy that's coming back from the flame. You know, and you ask the flame to go where it's most beneficial. To the whole of your inner sanctuary. And now we invite also a little bonsai tree or a plant. Oh no, let's go for a plant. No, sorry, bonsai trees are a little stunted, I have to say. Now, I mean, you know, the western symbol of love is the rose. The eastern is the lotus as well as the Tulsi Devi, the holy basil. So we invite them all now to come and be in our inner sanctuary. Oh, I'm getting overwhelmed and getting all teary-eyed here as they're coming in. Smile like an idiot and you know, spray them on the exhale with this love coming from your heart. And smile. And we now also ask that our bubble you know, be connected or has access to the star nations, where we came from, the ones that are approved by our high self, the ones of love and light, that are appropriate for us now. We ask that that connection be done now. Um, 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 make sure you agree to this. Of course, you know, it's supposed to be all for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, your over-governing safety principle. And, ah, oh, yeah, here the connection comes. You know, smile, smile, smile. And you may feel, you know, their presence, their love, like a dome of love coming to you. And if it's for the highest good, and if your high self approves, we give them permission to activate our Stargate codes and optimize them. And clear any sabotage, dark sabotage, from those. Um, um, and here it's kicking in. Mm -hmm. So keep on smiling and focus on, you know, sending this source love 
you know, especially enjoyable is it if you send it out your back. Mm -hmm. So on the inhale, you feel your love is that golden light. And then on the exhale, you know, you send it out your back. Until soon, you know, it should feel as if you're having wings, you know. This is actually just a very wide heart chakra. And it's the heart chakra of unconditional love. You love those that are not in front of you, those that you normally do not see. Anyhow, so what we're doing here is, of course, you know, a process of divine transmutation, you know, clearing the old, the outdated, the decrepit, mm -hmm. and then to create the new, right? So in Hinduism, you know, this is symbolized through those deities, Lord Shiva, the destroyer, you know, so that nothing new can be built, that something new can be built, and then the creator, you know, that actually creates. <laughs> And then Vishnu is the one that has to do all the maintenance work. And that's kind of considered the hard task. You know? Knocking it down is easy. <laughs> Making it is easy. You know, keeping it all running, that's the tough part. You know? Any janitor cannot know this. So, would we inviting now also these divine energies into our life? So... so and of course, only with the approval of our high self, so there is sisters in our own divine transformation and, you know, the creation, or let's say, or the uh, discovery, you know, of our, our higher life. Uh, mm -hmm. And just to keep on, you know, pumping this love, you know, into your heart. And um, I would suggest that you ask, you know, your high, well, your female high self, your goddess aspect, to be in front of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And many of you will feel a presence there, you know, a warm presence. Mm -hmm. And with some people, you know, maybe a little beat up, hard life, lots of dark attacks from the dark side. <laughs> so um, we asked them if they would please accept the healing and an update from Divine Creator, from Absolute Source, yes or no. Uh, I strongly suggest they accept a yes and, you know, then do so now. Now smile and watch what happens. Yep, feels awesome, right? So, let's just start with simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Ask whether your tonsils have been removed in certain lifetimes, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And mm, asked whether, you know, after you had your tonsil removes, after, you know, a few years that you have an, a, an appendectomy, you know, this means your appendix got infected, yes or no. Mm -hmm. Ask um, whether, you know, the lack of your tonsils, you know, still affect your balancing of your high chi to a low chi, or from hot to cold, or from damp to dry, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And now we ask, you know, our highest self, and, you know, the divine helpers, like the archangels, like Raphael, you know, to please clear this now from all the lifetimes mm -hmm. and, you know, adjust this at least on the divine blueprint level again. Mm -hmm. 
and replace it you know, on the astral plane. Then do the same thing for the appendix too. Um, 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 the appendix is a little bundle of joy. <laughs> and also, we like to have the trauma, you know, from appendix infections, and of course from the surgery cleared, and any entities or energies that attach themselves at this time to us, we like to have these cleared too. Amen, amen, amen. And uh, now it's another nice experience. You know, it looks like the subterranean cultures um, are coming forward, starting to reveal themselves to humanity. Let's just see, um, ask your own divine guidance. Are you incarnated with a positive subterranean race? Yes or no? Mm hmm and um, if you got a yes, you know, or maybe if you got a no, um, ask whether it is for the best for you to meet one of those positive beings, you know, if it's for your highest good. Yes or no. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes would be, of course, a positive upflow of energy or whatever other, you know, symbol you get, like thumbs up. <laughs> written out, whatever, or a positive feeling. Mm -hmm. So if you got a yes, now we invite this aspect of you, the subterranean, that's a really good influence for you. We ask this to connect with you now. Um, and, um, um. And a lot of you will feel kind of an expansion of your energy field in certain areas. Very positive, so keep on smiling. If you're frowning, you're probably not going to experience much. Because this being is coming from a love and light. And when you frown, uh, you're not going to get any love and light. I mean, you can't receive it, technically. Mm -hmm. So smile. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? <laughs> and so, um, you know, we're just um, doing a little clearing here. And so we ask them to please, you know, clear all the blocks that are still in your grounding and in your ability to connect with the earth energies and these cultures and these aspects of you. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, ground you into these um, social memory complexes, you know, if it's for your highest good, you know, if it's for your highest good only, you know, maybe we can learn from these people, you know, for that reason only, you know, no takeover, nothing fishy, <laughs> um, you know, um, not so good. Um, 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 And yeah, you or many of you probably have like um, goosebumps, so shivers, tingling, smiley feelings, energies flowing over your body. <laughs> well, let's make that a little stronger. So we asked the subterranean to send you some really convincing happiness. You know, so happiness that is so strong that you, yeah, you know, this is a real thing. And, Show them now, Atman. Mm. Of course, you got a smile, but. Hmm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that speaks for itself. <laughs> right, you know, the bliss package. You know, so, you know, we ask that this piece be packaged and then it can be distributed in a good way. You know, so every time you request it, you know, it just can come easy to us. Amen. Uh, Mm -hmm. So this was a bliss package and program. So, you know, you probably still 
carry a lot of downer packages. You know, you can call them downer programs, maybe curses, maybe vows of guilt. You know, there are things that get you down, you know, thought forms, constructs. Mm -hmm. Let's see, are you affected from downer programs? Yes or no? Uh -huh. Can they be cleared for you, at least the most of them? Yes or no? Uh, all right, mm -hmm. and then please go ahead and clear those that can be cleared now. Mm -hmm. um, um, um. Doesn't have to be all at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if there's now some nice positive place created, you know, in our space, in our personal space, in our soul space, and let's just, you know, be upgraded with happy pearl programs, you know, that keep us enthusiastic, you know, but honest, you know, honest to reality. And I mean, not Pollyanna here, <laughs> being off in cloud seven, you know, but, you know, having this really nicely grounded joy, that would be, mm -hmm. and, you know, actually, it's a joy that's in your heart, you know, from the presence of the love of the soul. You know, in Sanskrit, it's called Atma Rama. You know, Atma is the soul that resides in your heart, and Rama is that pleasure, that pleasure principle, spiritual pleasure principle. Yeah, we like to have that <laughs> nicely installed in us now, and of course, for our highest good only. Amen. Uh -huh. And if there are any divine thistles, you know, we ask them, you know, to um, surround us, to grow around us, you know, and protect us and, you know, um, put all the negativity, you know, that comes towards us, you know, put it into the earth to be transmitted, you know, and of course only if it's for the highest good. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, let's send them love. You know, monarchs feed off thistles. Very important. You know, we let them grow. They have beautiful flowers. You just don't want to hug them, man. Eh? Alright, so let's um, do some clearing on the crown. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we probably got plugged by magicians or by ET, you know, or by Atlantean experimenters or some priest, you know, with templates, you know, of not wanting to connect with your high self, you know, of not wanting to channel, you know. And, um, you know, to prevent you, of course, you know, being, you know, a source or conduit of divinity, you know, it's generally the dark force, you know, that tries to disconnect you from your divine guidance, you know, difficult to make a slave out of you, you know, if you have divine guidance, you know. <laughs> so, you know, they destroy this first, you know, through all kinds of methods, you know, let me put on them, most of them are extremely cruel. You know, so we ask now that those perpetrators be brought to the courts of divine justice so they cannot do any more harm. Um, Archangel Michael is really good at that. So we invite him to pity please. And, you know, so in those aspects, you know, that got, let's say, um, compromised, you know, um, implanted program traumatized, you know, to break this connection, you know, with source, we like to have these programs cleared. Um, you know, in Sanskrit, these things are called samskaras. And then make this clearing permanent, so, you know, we cannot be reinfected with the same stuff again and again. You know, also clear any loop programs. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ooh, big one there. Mm -hmm. You're putting you on a loop. Oh God, yeah. And 
No, as we are already there, let's ask. <laughs> um, do you have a destiny reversal program running on yourself? Yes or no? So that is where somebody switches destinies with you. Mm -hmm. You know, your beautiful future, you know, it's exchanged for their crappy future. <laughs> Dark magic, yeah. So, <clears throat> so we like to have that all reversed. You know, where we did it to others and where others did it to us. Uh, if necessary, take them to the courts of the mind justice, you know, where contracts, etc. can be rediscussed. See how legit they actually are. Um, 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 um. Make sure you agree to this, it's your life. You know, I'm not your daddy or mommy or your guru. It's your life. And, you know, um, many times when, you know, we got traumatized, especially on the head, uh, you, know, um, you know, entities, you know, or certain templates got installed into us. You know, saboteurs, you could say. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, like, you know, you sell a house, you know, and you also supply, you know, a bunch of road and said, make sure that house doesn't last longer than 20 years kind of a deal, right? So all these destructive, you know, or self-destructive templates, you know, that have been put into you, whether it was before birth or during birth, which is very traumatic, or anything after birth, you know, you like to have those cleared now, and if any of the entities, you know, maintain, you know, especially the entities maintain, they have a right to be there, or well, taken to the courts of divine justice, and let's look at that case. Yeah. Um, um, um. Uh, yes, you probably feel tingling, so send your source love into the heavens, that always helps, and it lights up. The vibration. Now there's also a lot of technology, um, you know, whether it's astral technology, um, thought form technology, vibrational technology, you know, or ET technology, um, where gen programs. You know, and other things are implanted, you know, into a person to prevent prophecy and channel. I mean, one of those things is, of course, when you burn, you know, a witch or prophet or torture them. <coughs> you know, that will discourage further incarnations to do so. You know, every time they're trying to do prophecy, uh, their trauma gets kicks in from the past lifetime. You know, they freeze up and freak out. So that's why, you know, all these cruel things have been done. So, you know, we like to have this clear, you know, and then these dark forces that did this on purpose to us, you know, we like to have them take it to the courts of divine justice. Um, 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 and this means we can forgive. You know, let God figure this out. Yeah, we don't want to be incarnated with those people again. And then also please clear all those gin programs. You know, and other, um, you know, code that is meant to block our prophetic gifts, our channeling gifts. And then make this a permanent change so they cannot put these blocks back into place. Uh -huh. And then please bring back those energies of ours, you know, that were blocked from, you know, interfacing with us. You know, the aspects of our soul that can come back, the updates, and please bring them in now, uh, and, and smile now. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an inflow now. Uh, and yeah, oof, 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 oof. smile, 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 smile. And of course, we ask that only the positive stuff gets into you, and any sabotage be filtered out. Um, 
Alright, so this is kind of clearing some of the crown chakra head stuff. Now let's go to more general stuff, general clearing. So first of all, let's ask your highest self, your divine inner guidance. Do you have something like white noise implants? You know, that block your intuition, your inner knowing, that distract you, etc. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. and you like to have those cleared, and if there's any entities, you know, also that you know, perpetuate this, like, you know, the iconic attachments that attach to the gallbladder meridian, you like to have those permanently removed, and so they can never be reattached again. Um, 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 oh, yeah. So you probably start feeling lighter around your neck, head, and your temples, mostly at the temple side. Mm -hmm. Now, um, are there things like um, still spells and curses, so-called anti-life codes, mm -hmm. and maybe even reversal codes, you know, affecting you negatively? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. They're kind of very generalized things, and so we like to have those cleared, at least those that can be cleared without us having to look at the details right now. Amen, amen, amen. And smile, you know, and keep on you know, focusing on that golden light. You know, keep sending it in to your legs. You know, just go around, you know, right leg, left leg, <laughs> um, head, other arm, just go in a circle. That's a good code. So, we have all kinds of systems, you know, that are spinning with us. You know, chi, you know, travels and transmutes best, you know, when it's spun. And there's a twist to it, just like a bullet. Rotational mechanics. You know, the gyroscopes are quite amazing. So, um, you know, but some of our stuff, you know, s s doesn't spin the right way. <laughs> and of course, also, you know, some of the meridians, you know, don't flow the right way. So we like to have our um, systems that are spinning, you know, tuned and fine-tuned, so they're all spinning now in the life-affirming direction. Thank you very much for doing so and harmonizing them. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And while we're tweaking the systems, you know, we also ask, you know, that wherever chords or intrusions, you know, or the codes are within us, you know, from, let's say, false like realities. You know, this could be just uh, stuff you saw in the movies, you know, that has a deep impression on you. You know, that's not based on reality. You know, false understandings. It's been stuck in philosophies and completely lost there. You know, or even, in, you know, imaginary realms, you know, that have been created, you know, to trap you. Mm -hmm. or where you were plucked into mass thought forms of suffering through some dark magic or, you know, whatever experiments or technology. Yeah, so you like to have this cleared now as much as possible, and where we caused this to others, our ancestors maybe too, let's have this cleared too now. Amen, amen, amen. We know we want to be the good boys here. Amen, and it's just fair. Ah, yeah. yeah. And while this is, ah, uh, yeah, let's just stay with this here for a while. There's more smiley energy coming in. Yeah, all this karma and dark energy dumping, you know, you like to have cleared. And where it comes in, Archangel Michael, you know, just block that up. And take perpetrators that lift, let litter our energy fields taken to the courts of divine justice, so this does not continue. Um, um, um. Mm 
Now another huge burden on humanity, and that means you too, is the um, masculine war wounding. You know what I mean? There is the subconscious trauma. Um, you could call it genetic trauma. You know, it's probably also individualized trauma from your own incarnations as a male, as a warrior, or from your clan. You know, yeah, from, you know, having to run into, you know, hails of rocks, you know, or sharp spears, or machine gun fire, mm -hmm, or grenades, you know, into certain death, you know, having to scale walls. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, being the first one into vaults and being herded, you know, to absorb the arrows of your enemies. Um, you know, um, and then of course, not only you know, losing your life, being squandered, but also, you know, if you survive, you know, you probably emotionally scarred. And uh, if you're not also physically scarred, you know, losing a limp, you know, like an arm or a leg or anything else, you know, in the good old times was not fun. You know, I mean, there weren't any cars, you know, if you had a horse, I mean, geez, you had to have some money. So, you know, the uh, faith of veteran wasn't fun at all, you know. And then, of course, you know, torture and stuff when you were caught by the enemy. And then, of course, also the curses, you know, or the guilt that was with us from those kind of extermination campaigns that we were forced as males to commit. And then, of course, the curses of the victims, you know, that we slaughtered. And their mothers and brothers and uncles and survivors and ancestors that are still mad at us. So there's a lot of that. So um, we just asked Absolute Source, you know, to please clear as much of this burden as can be done. You know, I mean, this is, of course, these are many sessions to peel all these onion layers away. You know, but there are many things that, you know, can be cleared without us having to look at it, you know, in detail. Mm -hmm. and that we can handle, you know, this transformation. So, you know, we ask that that please be cleared now. Amen. Amen. And smile. Uh -huh. And uh, you're already feeling the lightness and tingling. And smile and send love. Ooh. Wonderful. And this may take some time to clear. We just got it started. So, um, of course, um, you know, um, females also suffered. Oh, I mean, big time, big time. You know? Um, you know, when your beloved male, your protector and supporter, you know, was in war, I mean, and you were stuck at home with five kids, you know, first of all, there was no protector many times, you know, there was no provider, and that was harsh. You know, and then that fear of losing not only your love, but your protection. And then being without status or in poverty or whatever, have to do whatever it's needed to survive. Yeah. Very harsh. Then of yeah, it's all this fear and those prayers, and then they didn't come back. You know, then dealing with this. Mm -hmm. And um, also, you know, when you were in the city or your people got conquered, you know, that wasn't fun for the women either. You know, they generally got raped was sold to slavery or killed, you know, tortured many times in front of their kids or their husbands, you know, bad, bad, bad. So, you know, or having to bring up, you know, um, the, um, you know, the results of the rape from, you know, the conquering soldiers. That's a, you know, horrible life, you know. Um, you, they probably hate the kids, but they have mother instincts, you know, so they're very torn in that incarnation. 
So there's a lot of suffering, a lot of spells, curses, vows mm, around um, women and war. And you know, we like to have this cleared now as much as possible. We need the grace of absolute source here. You know, who can live off all that karma? Who can suffer off all that karma? So please, we like to have grace, you know, to clear this. And, you know, wherever we were the wrongdoers, we, you know, also asked for grace and forgiveness. Amen, amen, amen. We give grace and we ask for grace. And smile and keep on pumping that love. And also, please, you know, clear this trauma all the way, you know, to the highest soul aspects of us, you know, and also clear our ancestral body, all the ancestral bodies from this trauma. Amen. 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 Uh, generally, when there is heavy trauma, you know, dark entities, you know, attached to you. And um, to your trauma, to your wounds, to the curses, to the implants, you know, wherever there is darkness, you know, they can attach to that. So we like to have those entities as well as those darknesses cleared now, on ourselves and our ancestors and all the parallel timelines. Um, and many of them have been also placed by dark forces to sabotage us. Mm -hmm. Or they have been attached to us, you know, for experiments. Mm -hmm. And sometimes to empower us, you know, let's say as a gladiator, or sometimes to disempower us, you know, as we fear a prophet or a healer, you know, and then the attachment of those entities to you, you know, then everything goes south, you get sick. You get the wrong information and on and on. And let's all you not only have those cleared, but also all the contracts, all the interferences that came from them. And from that karma, let's have this cleared and then please, you know, collapse those timelines. Um, mm -hmm. Keep the wisdom clear the pain, right? And then as this is clearing, also please clear all the other karmic residues and leftovers that are stuck in, in the planetary grid from us or in our personal light bodies or with other beings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, you know, clear those all out mm -hmm. so there's no more, you know, spray energy around. And then just like a defrag, you know, or virus scan, you know, please clear, you know, all the codes with us, you know, see if they are just or unjust. Mm -hmm. See if there, you know, any safety concern, you know, this backup programs, backdoors, Trojan horses, etc., booby traps, limiters, mm -hmm. you know, and then also run any safety codes that prevent these intrusions that detect, you know, where there are intrusions and shuts them down or take them to the courts of divine justice. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen, amen. And then start, well, this is going, <laughs> you know, liberating our soul fragments that are still stuck, you know, on the dark side. You know, that's a huge project, of course. But, you know, you can start, dear high self, you know, going through all the contracts with the dark side, you know, find out all the illegalities and clear them, you know, clear any binding devices, vows, contracts, tech and AI influences that can be cleared now without us having to personally witness this. Um, um, um. And then, you know, reconnect these aspects, you know, after purification and disinfection, so to say, you know, with the soul, you know, and clear all the blocks and regulators, you know, from the dark side, you know, all the codes, you know, that are still residing, you know, with these connections. Um, um. 
Do you think all those beings that came in hell? And if anything dark and inappropriate is still with us or came to us, through us or between us, you know, clear this. Also remove any wrathful, vengeful entities taken to the courts of divine justice. Amen. 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 Now we unite the soul fragments that can reunite with us, reintegrate them into our energy system perfectly. Upgrade us to the best and most divine blueprints and codes as core as our high self allows. Amen. Uh -huh. And when we're laying down, let us snooze deeply. Let us have beautiful guiding dreams. Otherwise, you know, you're full of energy and grounded. Uh, in full awake consciousness. Uh -huh. And welcome back now. You know, I hope you had a great time. Um, there's more like this to come. Maybe I make it more of it. I have to see. You know, please give me a thumbs up and share. Because I'm available for personal sessions. You know, I'd like to share my gifts with you. Um, just send me an email. You know, contact formation and more. You know, it's visible below. I love you long time, you know, and if you reacted nicely to the video, watch the other ones, you know, there are a lot of them coming at the end, no? After this, you just hang on in there, and you know, watch the ones that you resonate with. You, now, must take.